for some reason I decided to wake up and try making objects from Osu in 3D. If you don't know what Osu is, you should probably leave. Okay, I'm joking, but Osu is a rhythm game where you can click circles and you can change the way those circles and other elements look in game. So I recreated some of those objects in Blender, which is a free 3D graphics software you can download on Steam. And I have a few hours on it now. Yeah, just a few. The first thing I wanted to make was the Rathis Hit Circle. It's kind of iconic, I guess, since like so many people use the Rathis skin in Osu. So um, yeah, I started making it. I started with placing down a cylinder, and then I took out the middle part. I went to the Modifier tab, and I added Solidify, and then I made it a bit thicker. I went to Edit Mode, and then pressed Ctrl R to loop subdivide, and then pressed S to make it go outwards, and now it looks like this. I added another cylinder, but this time I gave it an inside and I made it flat. I turned it around, gave it a shader, and changed the transmission to 1. I changed the roughness to 0, and now you can see the cube that I put behind it. I placed down some text, and then I changed the font of the text to be more accurate. I extruded it very slightly to make it look more 3D, and then I made it larger. And this is what the final product looks like. And this is another one that I made like a while back. The next object I made is the Kukizi Kamui cursor. The image that Boshi Man requested is like in 20p, so I, I searched up Kukizi Kamui cursor and there was it only showed the Among Us one. It only showed the Among Us one. Trust me. First I add a circle by accident, and then I add a sphere. I make the sphere have more like divisions, so it's more circular. I squish it. I add a donut and I put the donut around the circle, then I give it the emission surface, then I make the color of the glow pink, and I give the strength like pretty high. <laughs> then I give it an image texture so I can color over it. I copy the color from my image and then I just smear it everywhere. Then I add a lighter color over here, then I just use the smear tool. Here's the finished product, and here's a image if you want to use it for your like your Osu skin or something. The next object I made was the 100, which is in the um, Cookiezy Camelie skin. So um, yeah, I I, th I honestly think this looks really nice. To be honest, <laughs> looks really cool. First, I added some text. I changed the text to say 100, and then I used the Cooper Becker font. There was two, there was an outline one and there was like a regular one, so I used both of them. I made the base color black and I extruded it outwards. I copy and pasted it, then I changed the number to zero. I opened up the shader editor, then I added mapping, you know, like it's an Osu reference. Then I added separate XYZ. Then I added color ramp and stole the colors from the original image. I made separate XYZ to Y, because I forgot to do that before. Yeah, it, it, it's like, I, I definitely knew before, I didn't watch a tutorial while recording it. And then here's the finished product. It looks better than I could have ever expected, to be honest. Like, it looks really nice. Here's the image if you want to use it for your Osu skin. For this next one, I'm just going to make like a normal cursor, like the circle and then the light around it. So this is going to be really easy. Like, it's going to be so easy, I can speed run it. Like, I can literally speed run it. No cheats, no hacks. I just... just, just as fast as I can do it. Go. I press A to select everything, I press X to delete everything, I place a cylinder down, I flatten it. Okay, then I give it, like, I put it to the side. Okay, then I put Bloom on, we're using Eevee right now. I put on Emission, I turn the color up, I put it to blue, boom, boom, that, 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 that's it, that, that's literally it. This is what it looks like when I put it in the cycles, it doesn't look that bad to be honest, it looks pretty, like, nice. Also, uh, <laughs> I. <right. laughs> I didn't feel like putting the, um, what's it called, the denoising on, so I just left it there. So, it, it's sandy looking. The next thing I wanted to make was a mod icon, and I went with Hidden since that's like the most famous mod, I guess. First, I placed down a cube, then I smoothed out the edges with the bevel modifier. I took out the center of a cylinder, I turned it around and made it thick. I forgot to make the cylinder more round, so I manually put the stuff down for some reason instead of like creating another one. I then used the bisect tool to cut the cylinder into pieces and now it looks like this. I copy and pasted it and put it on both sides. 
I started messing around with the shader options on the cube, so now it looks like this. It doesn't look as shiny as this in the normal view, by the way. I also started giving some shaders to the circles in the middle of the cube, and I made the outer circles translucent. This is how it looks. Placed on a question mark to go into the center of the circle, I extruded it, placed down some more text, extruded it, gave it the emission, made it glow. This is how the final product looks now, and it kind of looks like it's made out of plastic, to be honest. I also wanted to make the Usu logo, but I made it like a while back, so I just kind of like, you know, just rebuilt it, but like speed run, so it doesn't look good. <laughs> First, I placed on a cylinder, took out the middle, and made it thick. Added another cylinder, made it flat, add a middle, and make it pink. Added another cylinder, but made it have three vertices, so it's a triangle. And I just copy and pasted it everywhere. Added the Osu text, changed the font, and then boom! This is what the final product looks like, and I think it looks really nice, to be honest. And, um, yeah, if you want me to make more 3D art videos, um, yeah, like, comment, stuff, yeah. I'll probably make another one at some point.